Welcome to new episode of Terraform. In this episode, we are going to discuss about Terraform data sources. So, what is Terraform data source? For example, think a scenario where you have already created some resources manually in any cloud provider and you want to use those resources in your Terraform. But you do not want to manage those resources which are created manually or either from another Terraform project. In your new Terraform project, you do not want to manage those resources. In that case, data sources are the best option. So data sources, basically a Terraform block, which can read data from your cloud provider. Okay. By saying that, let's create few things or few resources in Azure manually. For example, I'll create a resource group, one network and one subnet. So let me create one resource group, network and subnet. I'm clicking on create resource group. So let me take the resource group name, which is called manual RG. Let me put is is fine. Review and create. Clicking on create. Let me go into that resource group. Now let me create one network very quickly. You can search for virtual network. Click on create button. Subscription and resource group is already created. Let me put a name which would be manual vnet. Next IP addresses. The default one you can use or you can delete it. Doesn't matter. Let me create a small network. A slash 28 network. Let me add a subnet also. Let me put the subnet name something like manual subnet let me put the range also i'm taking entire range for this demonstration any other services if you want to add maybe you want to use microsoft sql in the back end click on create wait a little bit the deployment is in progress yeah now it has been created let me go to the resource network has been deployed let me quickly check the subnet yeah subnet is also ready now let's jump to our code and let's see what we have done so far. Okay, I have taken the existing code from episode 2 and modified a little bit for this one. As you remember from our previous example, we have used a resource group which was created from the Terraform itself. In this case, we have created that resource group manually. For example, we have created few resources. Now we have created one RG and one vnet with subnet instead of resource block now we are using a data block data block means simply read operation from your cloud provider okay similar thing as you saw earlier as your rm resource group the identifier and in this time i'm just providing a name from my variable file which is tfverse this manual rg this is your type of resource whether it is data data means read operation or it can be write operation if you put resource, then Terraform is going to create a resource for you. Next part, type of resource and third part is identifier of that entire resource block. So whenever I want to refer in the future in the code, then I'll just simply put data dot that resource. I'm creating one network interface card. I'm using resource group location, data dot resource group dot location resource group name because I have to put that uh, network interface card in some resource group and I have to provide a subnet okay in this case I'm providing data dot resource type which is subnet then your identifier then ID of that subnet instead of creating a resource you can take existing resource using data block next what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy a simple Linux VM and what we are referring we are taking the resource group from my data source location also from that resource group which is data source i need that network interface card yes it is here as your RM network interface your identifier and the id type of image which is ubuntu and rest of the things you can ignore i'll put this code in github let's get everything into action let me open the terminal put az login I do not know if AZ is present or not. Let me check. Hyphen hyphen use hyphen device hyphen code. Let me put up this link. Now authentication has been done. Let me clear my screen and let me put Terraform in it. Initialization is 
successfully done just let me close the terminal and check what we are going to do let's take a quick recap before applying we are fetching the resource group which is already created manually in my main file i am also fetching the network which is al already created one subnet is also created in that uh, network and resource group then i am going to create one network interface card and lastly i am going to deploy one linux virtual machine that's all let's get everything into action let me open terminal again check the terraform plan oh there is a problem which is i have to update my subscription id okay let me take the subscription id very quickly replace this string let me put terraform plan again okay now let me check what are the resources it is going to create it is going going to create the virtual machine and the last second thing would be your network interface card two resources to be added zero to change zero to destroy now let's put terraform apply similar thing comes your plan two to add put yes to deploy wait a little bit deployment of vm takes a little bit of time just wait a bit as you see it has started creating of the network interface card one os disk and very soon the vm will be deployed so everything is complete now from my terraform console let me check the vm is also present just let me click on the vm ubuntu and everything whichever we have defined in the code it has been deployed let me quickly move to this console and take a look on the tf state file okay so our data source was one resource group second data source was a subnet another thing was our network which we read from our cloud provider and next thing we have created one linux machine also we have created one network in interface card so that's all for this episode our motto was to use existing resources which were created outside of terraform and we do not want to manage those resources in our terraform but still we need to use those resources in order to deploy our future resources or current resources okay thanks for watching see you in the next video